so we are supposed to slow down now. Okay, yes, it comes. I'm not pressing the brake pedal at all. When the car in front of us suddenly comes to a stop, guess what happens? We come to a stop as well. Hey okay, guys, so we're gonna try the adaptive cruise control on the 2019 Toyota RAV4 right now. So in order to make it work, you have to press this button here. You can see it says Radar Cruise Active. So I'm approaching the highway. <clears throat> and right now we will try it out. Okay. So right now I'm gonna try and follow that white van. So to activate the system I have to press the set button. So currently our speed is about 100 kilometers. I'm gonna set, press set. That's it. So now you can see on the screen that uh, we are currently following the white van. So it will adjust the speed as we go. Also, I have a lane assist working as well, as you can see. So the car, well, it should show through here. You see, I'm not doing anything and uh, the car pretty much drive itself but not for long now it asks me to hold the steering wheel but okay let's try it again so we are following the lines on the road but still wants me to hold the steering but it does turn the steering wheel look at that how cool is that so now because uh, we have a slower car in front of us the car will slow down and will follow this car so currently our set speed is 92 kilometers per hour but you can see we are going 80 because that car in front of us is going slower than this it still wants me to hold the steering wheel but it will turn as uh, the road curves as you can see okay we have a van right here so what will our system do nothing so i'm gonna take control now and press the brake pedal so i did not see this van coming so i'll try it again i'll set our speed set it at 69 right now let's make it faster let's get up to 100 oh so so i'll set it for 100 but again, because we have a slower van in front, we'll just keep following the van. So the car will keep slowing down even until a full stop if the car in front of us slows down. So now this van gets out of our lane. Again, the car drives itself. All this time I'm not pressing the brake pedal at all. Makes a turn. In order to for the lane assist to work, it has to see both lanes, and you can see it on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna turn here because I'm actually afraid that it may not see what's going on. But again, I'm not pressing that either, like brake or gas pedal right now at all. It sees both lanes clearly. And, okay, yeah, I'm scared actually. <laughs> Don't want to risk too much. Lane assist works intermittently. But adaptive cruise control works really nice so far. We only had one issue with the van when it came out of nowhere from the right. As you can see, our set speed is 100 kilometers per hour. Currently we are going around 70. And we, now we're gonna gain some speed to catch up with the white Corolla. Of course it will ask me to take the control or touch the steering wheel shortly. But for now it just follows the white lines. Yes, hold the steering wheel. So 
guess this feature is useful if uh, for some reason you get distracted by something but I would not rely for this feature to drive the car for you even though I think it's pretty cool So the Corolla in front of us does not want to go faster than 80 km per hour, but that's fine. Okay, hold the steering wheel. Okay, what's gonna happen if I'm not gonna hold it? Then what? Okay, okay, then it will turn off, I see. Again, I'm not pressing the brake or gas pedal at all. Almost the whole duration of this filming. Again, I want to point out that the lane assist feature only assists you in driving. You cannot rely on it all the time. You have to hold the steering wheel all the time when you drive, guys. If you don't hold the steering wheel, the feature will turn off. Now I'm gonna press the brake pedal. Now our adaptive cruise control is deactivated, so we are almost at a full stop. I'm gonna press set to so it sets to 30 km per hour right now, and again it's gonna follow the car in front of us right now, even coming to a complete stop. Again, I'm not pressing the brake pedal right now, and the car is going to follow the car in front of us. How cool is that? So when we change lanes, that's when I'm gonna take control because it's gonna speed up. Otherwise, it's gonna speed up to 30 kilometers per hour. I'm going to activate the cruise control. It sets itself to 30 kilometers per hour and it's gonna start going faster. I'm gonna set it to 50 or 60, the legal speed limit here. So it's 60 right now, we see both lanes, it still sees uh, the barrier, but I'm kind of concerned about it a little bit, how well it sees it, so I'm gonna steer myself right now, but, okay, so we are supposed to slow down now, yeah, oh yes, yes we do, so we're going below 60 and we're going to slow down even more. Now going at 50, and as that car speeds up, okay, yes, it comes. I'm not pressing the brake pedal at all. So with a sudden, when the car in front of us suddenly comes to a stop, guess what happens? We come to a stop as well. It's a great safety feature. Okay, cruise control is off, so I'll have to set it again myself. Set to 57 right now, and as we gain in, uh, yes, so we gain in speed again. So it's a great feature in uh, stop and go traffic. So we almost come to a full stop, but our cruise control is still working, it's still set to 57 kilometers per hour, even though we are going at five or less. And let's see how beautiful Vancouver is. So it says waiting right now. So it's waiting, let's see what it does when the traffic starts to move. It says press accelerator to resume, that's what we do, and off it goes. Unless we come to a complete stop, the car will try to keep going and keep keeping the distance between our car and the next car. Let's go. Okay, I'm not pressing anything, not gas, not brake. And it even keeps the lane. Yes, 
still well. So in short, this is how uh, the adaptive cruise control and uh, lane assist work on uh, the new generation RAV4. Thank you guys for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you.